Action Comics 982, uh, written by Dan Jurgens, art by Jack Herbert. Uh, so, yeah, we were a little bit mixed on the last issue. I was a bit more critical on it than you guys were. Uh, Superman obviously went blind. Uh, the Revenge Squad sort of geared up. Uh, and we find out this issue, they're coming to the fortress. Superman's still blind. John and Lois are at the fortress with Superman. They're trying to figure out how he fix him. Mm. And the, the, the basically the, the villains all kind of roll up to the front door and start trying to break in. It's, it's kind of really simple in that sense. Uh, and we have the big cliffhanger, big big epic cliffhanger at the end, where the rest of the super family show up to help fight. Uh, which yeah, I, I did enjoy this issue a lot more than the last one. Yeah. Uh, the, there's a key simplicity to Superman being because now that we've got over the kind of, I mean, I, I thought the, the reveal of him being blind is a little bit bullshit, but now that he's actually mm-hmm. just oh he's blind, we have to cope with this. How do we deal with this? And the rest of the family show up, especially since uh, like Cal X like makes the call. He's like right, uh, you yeah. know. I don't want to use the word assemble because we associate that with a certain rival team, <laughs> yeah. but like that kind of had that feeling to it. So you know that final Unite. splash page of uh, like you know because the idea that Supergirl swoops in in the previous page to get him out of harm's way because she's the one that's fast enough, and then like it's yep. just not it's all of them there, and it's stuff that just the core idea that Lex is at the front saying, "No, he is ours. Back yep. the f up." <laughs> yeah. Just, just well, kind it's of kind of like it's kind of like the big brothers. Like no one's allowed to beat up the little brother but me. <laughs> yeah, kind of. You know? kind of like that. Yeah. yeah. So, but and and I like that we have this assembly of of false Superman with the Superman family. You know, because you you look at the Revenge Squad and three quarters of them look like Superman. Yeah, you, you, you know? got uh, yeah, you know, uh, Eradicator who's got the the, the symbol on. You've got yeah. Cyborg Superman who's got the symbol on. Yeah, yeah. and then Zod. Zod's th- 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 Kryptonian. Yeah, he doesn't have the House of L on him, but he's got his symbol. Yeah. So it's yeah, exactly. You know, and then you have Mongol who's a big nasty looking dude and. Yeah, I, I like how because early on the villains are all sort of arguing about okay, why are we doing this? Zod's not wanting yeah. to take orders, and I like how when uh, I think it's Henshaw who's like saying, "Oh, this is what everyone's going to get out of this," and I like how yeah. Mongols is just, "Oh, you get another War World." He's like, "Yes, finally, <laughs> not yeah. had enough War Worlds." <laughs> exactly. It's been too long. <laughs> no, no, I had more uh, fun with this one. I, I think, I, I think the setup of the villains has been fun. It's not maybe been as, as sort of deeper as menacing as I'd have liked of a team of this caliber to have been formed by. It, it feels yeah, a little yeah. bit more simpler than I'd have liked it. However, if if it's all leading to like the super family coming together to fight as a team, then yeah, I'm I'm having fun with it in that sense. So, yeah, I, I can't complain too much. No, I agree. That's it's fun. My biggest problem with the issue is the art change for the the mm. fight section. It's a mm-hmm. different artist, I think. I'm pretty sure anyway, because it completely changes over. Uh, let me look at the credits page. Yeah, there's a different artist listed. Yeah. Uh, it doesn't say the pages, but I assume it's that bit. Funnily enough, it doesn't credit a second artist on the front page, I don't think. Uh, no, you're right, it doesn't. Yeah. I mean, they're only doing like three pages, I think. Because but... that, that, that's... Uh, typically, I get the names of Comixology, but typically to double-check them when it's someone... If I see something that yeah. I'm not expecting to see, I'll look at the front cover and see who's credited there to match it up. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So if there's a second artist like that who's not credited on the front, that'll, that'll be why it's... Uh... Yeah, they they only do about three pages by the look of it, but it really sticks out as a change in style for the for the big fight moment. But uh, no, uh, no, it was, it was a fun issue. Uh, obviously, the, the ending is a highlight. Definitely. Mm-hmm. Um, there, there's some key things dropped here. Like uh, Kalex drops kind of a bomb in the middle here, where he, he mentions that the the battle armor. Yeah, yeah, it healed him once after the Doomsday fight, but like. We can't do that again. Like that—that that was a one-time clause. Yeah, it, it drained the battery yeah. basically. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so I thought that was interesting. Maybe it put some, like you know, if if he fights something that big again, there is a chance that he could die and stay dead. I mean, we know that. I mean, obviously, from a meta perspective of looking at, it, is like, oh, they're never going to do that. We know they're never going to do that. They'll, they'll always Which find a, a shame, way out because it's the only way we'll get John to to take up the, the mantle at Which, some point. Not necessarily. Superman could just pass it to him. He know? could. He could. He's yeah. not. He's not Batman. Where he's like, no, this is my mission, and he's no, gonna no. I, go I down feel swinging. Just, you know, I feel like it's it's more of a, an editorial perspective where to, yeah. to to stop them just going back to it at any moment, going, oh, let's call in the big guns. Hmm. Yeah, they're, they're, they just want to get him out of the picture if they're ever going to do that. Yeah, because at least with Batman, there is there is a point where he's just going to physically age, yeah. where he's just going to have to concede that all right, okay, I can't quite. I can't quite do the flips and stuff like I used to. I'm going to have to, <laughs> going to have to let Damien and Dick and Tim kind of, you know, run wild with us. We're in an alternate future, Terry. 
But yeah, I could see Superman retiring, but being like, John's getting into trouble, but he shows up to help at one point, you know? Yeah. Because what yeah. dads do. Dads never let you, at least, <laughs> mine might. <but> they won't <laughs> let you fail. <laughs> they won't let you fail intentionally. You know, they'll kind of keep a, a hands around there. So, but I, don't, I think, you know, it's a place where Tim's been a teenager for 20 plus years. He was just going to college right before the, the what was their name? Kane's guys. Colony. Colony. Right before they attacked. All right, okay. you know. I wasn't sure what Matt was asking for, though, so I was just kind of waiting for yeah. the answer. So. Yeah. Connor got it. Um, <laughs> I really like, uh, in terms of the art, I like the, the, the full page splash where Superman flies out of the fortress. Uh, yeah. with, one except, with one minor criticism is that for some reason his red boots aren't on that page I don't know why uh, but other than that it looks quite good uh, actually I really like the following page as well uh, with uh, Kara getting the message because we don't see them all get a message we just see Kara uh, yeah. which I kind of like because it's kind of the idea that Supergirl is the one who's like the next in line in terms of just yeah, lineage in terms of in. yeah just... also just she's the one it communicates to so mm -hmm. she can yeah. round them up from there yeah yeah. That well, makes and sense. she had that that orb that he gave her which right, I like exactly. is the thing from the movie it's the, it's the orb from the movie, the Supergirl movie, the Omahedron. Yeah. It's that thing, which made me laugh, because I just think of the movie when I see that. Uh, also, I like her opening the shirt and her hair's like mid-change. Like it's it's yeah. gradually yeah. changing to the, the blonde. Uh, that's pretty cool. Uh, but no, I had more fun with this issue. Uh, like you say, the art does change during the action. Uh, but otherwise, I did like the art. I, I, I specifically like how, uh, how Herbert draws Zod's goatee. There's something just yeah. kind of gruff about it that I like. Yeah. Well, yeah. yeah. It's angular, you know. Right? It, rem it reminds me more of, like, a, a biker. Yeah. Yeah. Or, actually, do you know, do you know, do you know what the face reminds me of? It it reminds me of, like, the type of, like, scruffy goatee you might see in a Western. Like a cowboy would have. Yeah. yeah. But the rest of it's, like, he's got the goatee, but the rest of it's not shaved properly. It's just, like, a goatee with a shadow. With the rest of the mm -hmm. face, it's got that kind of gruffness. Yeah, he hasn't had time. I, I think that's that's one of my bigger problems with the, you know the the art when it changes. I still like the other art for the most mm. part. It's just a weird change, but but Zod's facial hair changes completely, and that is just unacceptable. <laughs> <laughs> yes. I mean, I guess the only criticism I could have is that uh, Supergirl does look a bit older than she does in her own book because obviously the art style is very different. But that's about it. Uh, Keenan as well. Yeah. Actually, Keenan looks kind of old as well. But I, I guess this, I guess Herbert's thing is just that everyone kind of looks middle aged, <laughs> or whatever. <laughs> yeah, because he looks quite bulky. Keenan, look at him. He's, he's got a, a he good does. bulkiness to him in that last yeah. page. That that hand that they're showing, like, <laughs> look how much he's tensing. That that he's gonna mess somebody up. Yeah, yeah. He he's he's done some serious time with that hand. So. <laughs> <laughs> so it's a fun issue. He's thinking of Lacey Lan or whatever, whatever the, the reporter is in that book. Is that right, Lacey Lan? Am I right? I'm, I'm waiting for Matt to agree with me. He's just sitting I there in a long time. Just, space. So, so wait, say that again. Is it Lacey Lan, the, the, the reporter in a uh, new Superman? Uh, Lani Lang. Yeah. <sighs> it's not Lani Lang. I don't know that for a fact. No. Lady Lan. It's Lady Lan. Lady Lan. There, there you go. go. We got there in the end. Uh, but no, uh, I, yeah, I, I, don't, I don't think it's the, it doesn't quite have the weight that I'd maybe want this story to have, but it is fun, and having the team come together at the end is quite exciting, mm -hmm. so, yeah. uh, so, 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 solid, solid issue.